Hi, it's part two of my spring lipstick video. I did part one, which was purely drugstore. I'll put the link below for that video if you haven't seen it yet. This one is all my high-end faves. You know what I was noticing as I was going through here? Um, I have basically one, two, three, <laughs> three different, I have four, but I really have three major um, brands. And they're all the brands that I regularly shop at my local department store. I don't have a Sephora that's close. My closest Sephora is a Sephora and JCPenney's, which is an hour away. My closest Ulta is also an hour away. So my local Macy's is a smaller Macy's, which has, you know, um, limited counters. <laughs> and so I go there and I know all the ladies who work there and uh, they know me by name. And I'm like, hey, how are you? And, and they have really great suggestions for me. And pretty soon, um, they realize, do you have this? Yes. Do you have this? Yes. Do you have this? Yes. And I'm like, I think I have a lot. And they're like, well, I think you have everything in your skin type that would be good for your skin tone. And I'm like, that's shameful. They're like, no, that's wonderful. <laughs> so uh, what I wanted to show you today are just some of my favorites for spring and probably leading into summer. Um, and what I really like to wear when it comes to spring and summertime are colors and kind of shades that are a little on the sheer side that give a pop of color and that tend to be something that lets my natural lips show through. Um, because during the winter time, I wear a lot more opaque and heavy lipsticks and darker colors, um, a lot of deep reds and wine tones. If I'm wearing a nude, it's completely opaque nude. And in the summertime, I like to wear, or the springtime and summertime, I like to let um, a lot more of my natural skin show through. I wear, I wear less foundation, less concealer, less everything, and it's more like um, the youthful me comes out. I mean, my age hasn't changed, but all of a sudden I feel like I'm um, kind of hearkening back to 10 years ago in my makeup routine. Um, and I don't know if it's just kind of like shedding all of the winter, everything, you know, I get rid of all of the gloves and the wool scarves and the coats and all of the heavy makeup. And so I go to my really sheer lipsticks. So the first one I wanted to show you is one that I've gone through too. Maybe this is my third one. And I just picked up this shade. I've had several of these from Fresh. They're the Fresh Sugar Lip Balms or the Lip Treatments. I don't know exactly what they're called. It says Tinted Lip Treatment SPF 15 and this one is in Coral. I picked this one up last summer, I think in June from a Sephora in California when I was on vacation and I think this is my third one. They smell really good but they're $22 a pop. And I went through my first one in a month because I kept wearing it and they just, they're just so buttery. They just kind of, they went right straight down, but I could not stop. So my first swatch for you here is this one. It's so easy to wear, it's absolutely beautiful. And of course, you know, the more you build it up, the more color you get. But I treat this now like a lipstick as opposed to a lip balm or a lip treatment because when I did that, I burned through $22 in four weeks and I was like, whoa, Nelly, let's not do that. That's kind of an expensive thing to do. Um, I was just recently at Estee Lauder because they were just having a gift oh, a couple weeks ago and I picked up a couple of things. The first thing I picked up this new for spring, let me put this one down, um, and it's part of their new spring collection is this. It's a little uh, gloss roller ball and this one is called Squeeze. Let me turn it this way so you can see it. It's really cute. There you go, it's Squeeze, it's number two. But the reason I got this, aside from the fact that it's this really cute sheer kind of cherry pink, is that this little rollerball, I don't know how many drugstore rollerballs I had when I was in middle school. I lived by these. Um, I remember my girlfriends and I, we would get a ton of these and then we would trade. Oh, do you have this one? No, I don't have that one. And we would trade for these like they were stickers or something. <laughs> and when I saw this, it brought back it smells really good too. Such great memories for me. I had to have it. And it's super, super sheer. Mostly I got it for nostalgic purposes. It has, you know, mostly just, it's super, super glossy. It has a very, very sheer tint to it. But mostly I had to have it when I saw it because it reminded me of being a young kid. Um, and I thought, well, I need something with real color to it. <laughs> I've been having fun using that, by the way. So I picked this up. And this is Ripe Papaya. 
Um, and uh, what I like about this is that it's this is not one of those colors when I look at the lipstick and the bullet that I would normally pick up because it has some shimmer to it and it's usually I usually go for more berry tones or more red tones not really this kind of golden champagne -y, peachy tone I was like that's not really me but when I put it on I noticed how pretty it was and that it's really really super sheer um, and on my lip it just brings my whole face to life with a little bit of a golden undertone to it. And for my skin tone, it's really pretty. I, I really, you know, did several swatches here, but one swatch by itself right next to it. I mean, it's just gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, so those are the two that I had for you. Ooh, sorry about that. From um, Estee Lauder. And then because I have a huge collection huge collection of Lancome. I thought I could not go through this without doing some Lancome. All right, so I started getting the Rouge and Love lipsticks um, just, I think, a year and a half ago or when they first came out, and I love these guys. Um, and the first one that I got, this was the first one right here, and look at that. Boom, bright, bright, bright tangerine. And this is number 146, number 146. And I wish they had, because they have names on the boxes, but once you take them out of the box, the label on the bottom only has the number, so it's not terribly helpful. Um, but this one I got, this was the first really super bright tangerine color that I got, because last year this was kind of like the color of the year, and everybody was wearing this bright tangerine lipstick, and I thought I have to have it. And what I love about these is that they wear for at least six hours. Um, they're super easy to wear, and they go really, really well on my skin. So then I went to get another one, and this one is kind of a similar color, um, but it's not quite so intense. Let me swatch it, if I can, right next to this one, and you'll see, here's the first one, this is the next one. You're like, those are almost exactly the same. This one's a little bit more dialed down, and this is kind of like, <laughs> this is terrible. I call this my Betty Draper lipstick. So it has some of that, you know, kind of 60s nostalgia without being too intense. And I like this one a lot. All right, this is one that when Lancome was in gift at Macy's, maybe end of February, they had this color. And this one is Wannabe from their color design. It, and this is normally just $25. But I love this lipstick because look at this color. It's basically a straight up pink cream. Um, and I think something like this is great because it totally wakes up your face. Um, and it reminds me of like azalea flowers, just amazing, um, or bright peonies or whatever. And I love to wear it. And normally the colors that come in gift are not colors that I would really immediately go, oh, I want that color. But this is one, when I run out of this one, if they are still making this color, I will repurchase Wannabe. That one's fantastic. All right, so this here is a, oh, look at how tiny the label is on the bottom. It's so teeny tiny. This is their Lalique Fever 133 Glimmer Stick. It's number 133. All right, but this one, I got to go over my, what I call my Betty Draper <laughs> lipstick. <laughs> and I wear it by itself. If I swatch it for you just by itself, um, let me get a pretty good layer here for you so you can see it right here. And it's, you know, it's got, of course, if it's a glit, uh, a glimmer stick or a glitter stick, I don't remember what exactly it's called. It's got some shine and some shimmer to it, but what I like about it is when I put it over the other one that I bought for it, I'm just gonna swatch it over the bottom half for you here. Here's the top part without it, and down here, it brings out more of a pink to it, and I put that just in the center part right here of my lower lip to make it a little bit pouty, and it just totally changes the whole look of it, and it's so, so pretty. I wear it by itself, it's kind of, you know, look at that super shiny, super glittery. It's got a lot going on there, but I kind of keep it minimally just to kind of write this area. And it's a lot of fun. Um, and I've had this for, oh, I don't know, maybe six to seven months now, and it still works fine. All right, the rest of the colors I have for you are from Clinique. I have way too many Clinique lipsticks too. But my favorite lipstick lipsticks from them are the Buttershine lipsticks. They look at this, they come in a little bamboo tube. And the butter shines are super sheer, very, very hydrating, have a lot of shea butter in them. This first one I want to swatch for you is called Pinkaboo. And I love Pinkaboo. 
and it's right down here in the middle because it's super sheer. It's really nice on the lips. Um, I got this one specifically last summer just for summer, but I find that I wear it anytime I want to have something on my lips but not look like I'm wearing too much. And I'm telling myself I can't have any more reds. I must have like more than 20 red lipsticks or lip glosses or what have you. Probably even more than 20. So I told myself, no more red, start branching out. And I never thought I would wear pink, but this one is so pretty. It's like nearly nothing, but super gorgeous. This next color is Berry Blush. It's also one of these Buttershine lipsticks in a little bamboo tube. And this one is really pretty. This was another one that I got last year in summertime specifically, but I think it'd be great for spring. Right here, just a step up from Pinkaboo. Um, and I love it. Now the one that I'm wearing today is one that I got today because Clinique's and gift at Macy's. Yeah, it's like February was Lancome, beginning of March was Estee, and now like end of March into April is, yeah, so here it is, <laughs> Lancome uh, Clinique gift. So this one here is called Fresh Watermelon. And I'm surprised I had not picked this one up before. Look at my hand, it's getting to be a total disaster. So now I'm gonna start swatching lower. Right here, this is fresh watermelon. Look at that. I love the color. I love that it has some of those kind of strawberry -y tones. It really does look like a really neat slice of watermelon, but it has the buttery shine, it has the sheerness, and on your lips, I mean, it looks really good. I like it, I love the way it feels, super hydrating. These are $15 and for a high-end lipstick, they're really great. So onto their chubbies. The Clinique Chubby um, is a kind of like a hydrating balm, a sheer wash of color. This one's called Pudgy Peony. Um, I'll swatch this one right next to. And this right here, this is Pudgy Peony. It's kind of um, a really pretty pink uh, sheer enough that you don't feel like you're overdoing it, even though it does look like a really bright pink. Um, this is another one of their original. Um, by the way, the pudgy pink, uh, the pudgy peony, and this one here in oversized orange were new colors during 2012 um, because their original line came out years ago and they hadn't given any updated colors for a while, so they made some new colors. So right here is oversized orange. I know it looks like a lot, but if you just do one quick line of it, it's a lot sheer and I really like it. And on my lips, it doesn't look too orange. I really like it. So the last one I have for you today is another one I picked up today. I haven't even taken it out of the box yet. And this one's called Plushest Punch, or Plushest Punch. There we go. And it's a pudgy but it is from their Intense line, which means that it's not gonna be as sheer, it's gonna be more opaque. And let me see if I can swatch it over here. Oh yeah, you'll see the difference right here. So these are the more sheer ones, and this is the Intense. So it has more of that um, opaque look, but it still has the creaminess and the smoothness that the balms have and the hydration, and it's really, really amazing. I love it. And it looks like it's kind of close to like the um, Pudgy Peony, only just a lot more intense, <laughs> hence the name. All right, so there we go. Those are kind of like my favorites for spring and summer. Um, and as you can see, um, they're more orangey, corally, pinky toned. Um, I don't have a red in the bunch, which is really rare for me because I have a ton of reds. And I could have pulled out a red, but I'm trying to show you ones that I either have only shown you once before or not at all before. Um, because, yeah, I've shown you a lot of reds. Anyway, I hope this was helpful. Um, I am going to keep showing you more and more of my lipstick collection and probably continuing to update you with new purchases as things go along. But if you have any suggestions, I hope you'll let me know. By the way, here is... Um, a bunch of ones that did not make the cut. <laughs> Drugstore ones, my NARS, um, some other things in here. And I was like, oh, so sad. <laughs> but you know, I can't show you everything. Videos can only be so long. All right, hope you have a great, great day. And thanks for watching.